Okay, moving along with video three of the Macross Missile Phalanx Destroid kit build. So, I got Engine Gray here, and I have loaded up into my airbrush here. So, I thinned it with Tamiya Acrylic Thinner. And perhaps there are people watching this video who are saying, Oh my, I didn't know you could do that. Well, you, you can. So, that's uh, something I learned a while back. Alright, that looks good. So, yeah, again, this is a Model Master Engine Gray. This is an acrylic. And um, I'm spraying it with uh, acrylic thinner. So what I'm doing, as a put on my mask, I suppose. I'm going to get up on the inside. I don't know about ref reference pictures, about what it's supposed to look like from the inside, but I think a, some sort of a dark gray would look really nice in there. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah, I'm just uh, doing it on the inside. I'm not even touching the outside at all. Okay, I have started painting XF84 Dark Iron. And I thinned it with uh, lacquer thinner because I want it just to uh, dry hard. So it's turning out pretty nice. I decrease the pressure here. And get it inside here. I don't think it'll be visible around the outside edge here, but I might paint it anyways. Okay, so the dark iron has been painted. Uh, it has a little bit of a like a metallic uh, flex in it. It's just kind of nice. The flaps for the, the missile launchers, um, I painted these just uh, Tamiya flat red, and there's a little bit of primer showing through there. But actually, it looks kind of cool. You see that? It looks kind of silvery. I think that's pretty cool. So, I don't know why there wasn't good coverage in there, but I guess just the way I was holding it. Um, yeah, I, I didn't get uh, the red in there all the way. Alright, so what I need to do is do a, an assembly on this. So what I did was I put this here into place. Push that in all the way. Alright, so... Um, this flap just goes in here and stays there. Alright, this does not get glued. What does get glued, however, is uh, is this thing in here. So what I'm going to do is I got some CA cement. I, I want to make sure this stays still. It does not move. Let's just get a tiny bit of glue here and here. Because I don't want this thing falling apart on me. Okay. Okay, so there. Now, I want to make sure to wipe this off before putting the cat back on. Now, let's attach this. I filed this down, so hopefully it's going to stay there so that it'll, you know, it won't be paint sticking to the. Um, to the plastic, but it'll be plastic sticking to plastic, 
Hopefully this will work, okay. So, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Let's test this out, make sure it doesn't pop out or anything. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I'm satisfied with that. I'm pretty sure it's okay. I think... Yeah, it's not moving the pieces. Alright. So now what I can do... Is... Smear a bunch of blue in there. Make sure it doesn't move. There. Hopefully it's gonna stay. Okay. Now, I'll do the other side. Okay, so next part, we need to make this assembly here. So this, this goes with this, and this goes with this. All right, so what I can do, first of all, is, um, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> See, I'm not thinking. Okay, this is how it goes, Durhe. Durhe. All right, that looks much nicer, doesn't it? Of course it does. All right. <laughs> of course it does, don't be ridiculous. Sorry, I just remembered that show, Perfect Strangers. Oh, Cousin Balky. All right, so uh, you kids out there don't know what I'm talking about. Google it. Um, I need to make sure this thingy stays in place. And if I have to move this... Because I'm afraid that because this is kind of a stiff joint, and I want it to stay stiff, but if I ever move that, I don't want the whole thing to come apart. So... What's going on here is, um, alright, so, this I can glue to this lip here. See, it's already getting kind of loose, that's not good. Okay. So let's get some glue on here. There. So that's, that's good. Now, we want to ensure that this is going to stay super tight. So, let's run some super glue, CI glue, all along in here. Okay. Time is wasting. Here we go. Now this is just gonna have to be pushed into here, and there. So it's not so difficult because th these things are in in there. You know, they're kind of helping guide where it where it needs to go. So there we go. Let's kind of line this up a little bit better, though. There. Okay, now I can work on filing this and kind of, you know, moving some seams and such. Let's get some extra thin glue. Run it through here. Help kind of, help melt it. So yeah, this, um, Extra thin cement here is pretty good for getting inside these cracks, like this. The, the laughter you hear in the back, actually my, my daughter is doing the Tamiya decoration series. You may have seen a video I did of that when I, I took my daughter to um, the Shizuoka Hobby Square. So I, I bought her the set of that kind of stuff to get her started. So this is for her birthday we celebrated a couple of days ago. So that is that. L right arm is complete. Isn't that great? That's fantastic. 
That's sensational. Now let's repeat the process. For the other side, the other arm. So freaking cool, man. This is so cool. This is always... I don't know, I think the, um... The Defender is probably my, my favorite, um... Destroid. The, you know, the one with the anti-aircraft guns for arms. But this is this guy's always been my, my second favorite. Uh, I think the monster is cool, but he's just way too big, you know. Okay. All right. Now let's wipe off. There. I'm gonna get in the habit of wiping it off before putting it, the cat back on, because I don't want to make a mess. I don't want to, um, you know, waste this stuff. Because once you super glue the cap onto itself, it doesn't really work so well after that, you know? Okay. It's looking pretty good. Alright. Now, I'm just not going to touch this for a while. Um, when I give this adequate time to, to, uh, to set, then uh, start... Start sanding this seam line, make it look prettier. And then what I'll have to do is um, kind of mask along here. Maybe put the tape up along in the inside, close it shut. If you do the same thing for here, you know I want to protect that red there. You can see it's um, uh, some of the reds kind of uh, flaked off there, but I think that looks great. <laughs> I think it's really cool. So. Um, yeah, and then I'll prime this part, then give it the real regular paint job. So, yeah, pretty neat. Okay, I've begun sanding it. I started out with some 180 grit sandpaper just to get it started, and then now this I am using. It's a cutout from a Tamiya sanding sponge sheet, and this is 400 grit. So. I already did the the bottom side here, feeling more or less pretty pretty smooth. Make over this a little bit more, and then um, after priming it, uh, hopefully the seam line will be a lot less subdued, if not disappeared. Who knows? So. Just taking a while here. I got my dust catcher thingy to let the mess fall into here instead of getting it all over my my cutting mat. So there's a there's a little like a very slight detail running along here, and I'm afraid of sanding it all away. Uh, I'll, I'll see how it goes, I guess, but it's a little bit of a panel, panel line seam that goes along that way. Okay, I have just crammed some masking tape up inside here. This is the major lip here. Now what I want to do next is cram a bunch of tissue paper all the way around this uh, exhaust nozzle or thruster or whatever the hell it is, this jet. Just cram it all the way in here. So that uh, it will protect uh, the paint job inside here. all of this in here as best I can because that's what I did with this here okay I am ready to prime these guys 
So after all that sanding work, I still have a seam line here, so I'm just applying the silver surfacer directly to the model with a, a paintbrush, and then I will do some more filing, and then I'll have to reshoot this again. So uh, over here it's not so bad really. It's just in the back here. So there's that there, but I think it's just a, uh, well, maybe it can't be helped. I don't want to overdo it back here, so. Um, yeah, so I'm still working on it. Okay, so my camera was really low on batteries, and uh, so I just went ahead and proceeded with this build without doing any videoing of just more airbrushing. So you didn't miss anything, really. Uh, also, I did quite a lot of sanding on these parts here to get the, the seam line to look a lot better. It's not 100 percent great, but it looks a lot better than it did before. So, uh, you know, whatever. I, I, I want to move forward with this, and uh, I'm not going to get this perfect anyways, because there's this really, really fine detail here that I've already kind of killed anyways. So, you know, whatever. So, um, I did a lot of uh, painting the primer directly onto it, sanding it, and then airbrushing it to see if it was uh, even, and then painting some more, and then sanding, and then airbrushing. Um, so I did that several times to get it to work right. So it looks a lot better than it did before. So as far as painting goes, um, I, th I believe I had showed this middle stone. This is Mr. Hobby Aqueous H71. The reason I got this was because um, Hasegawa says that um, this is good for painting the seats on F-14 Tomcats. And uh, so this is pretty nice, but it was a little bit too bold, so I kind of diluted it with, this is H85 sail color. So this is my first time really doing extensive airbrushing with Mr. Hobby Aqueous. And I thinned it with Mr. Hobby Aqueous Thinner. And airbrushing worked really wonderful, as I expected. So, yeah, they certainly don't make crappy paints here in Japan, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, so this, this is the final color. It looks pretty darn close to what the plastic was, I think. So, I, I think it's, it's nice looking. So um, I did a bit of masking in here because I had painted the joints with that dark iron. So this this is all masked off in here. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned for volume four, or video four, and uh, I'll be doing a little bit. Well, I have to do like uh, I have to do some painting the the dark iron here and. Um, like the the trim here and in here as well I'll probably hand paint that um, hand painting is probably best for doing the dark iron uh, along in here like the armpit area I think that'll probably, probably be better to not um, you know try to airbrush that although I do want to probably airbrush this like the, the, the breast plate area this this whole section here because it's going to be in the front of the mecca it's going to be the most obvious so, uh, but yeah, um, the main color, I just put it into a uh, Tamiya mixing jar, and I have a bit left over. Uh, I don't think I'll need to go over it anymore, but I will, hold on, ho I will hold on to this, just in case I might need to reshoot anything. So, so yeah, um, video 4 will come along. Um, I also was working on the DeLorean today quite a bit. Um, just real slow process with tiny pieces. Uh, something like this I can do on the side and I get a whole bunch done all at once. Um, at least the part of this build that I'm currently concerned with. The DeLorean is just kind of uh, really slow slow right now. But uh, I will be doing another video of that uh, sometime soon. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.